The increase in Western mining in the mid-1800s spurred a massive population shift from east to west and a boom and bust lifestyle that went with it. The migration began with the famous gold rush of 1849. And it's astonishing. Uh, California had only recently be been acquired from Mexico after the war, and people in the East Coast drop what they're doing by the hundreds of thousands and head west hoping to make it big. Um, including people who were, up until that moment, living very irresponsible, middle-class, uh, working-class lives. Rough-and-tumble towns sprang up overnight around new mines, but the towns died just as quickly when those mines petered out. But after the, the gold rush in California, there are subsequent gold strikes and silver strikes, and each case causing a boom in population, moving to where they hoped to strike it rich. In 1859, a decade after the 49ers had flooded California, Men called the 59ers raced to Nevada. The reason? The discovery of the nation's first silver deposits, which they called the Comstock Lode after one of the first partners in the claim. Over a period of 20 years, the Comstock Lode produced $400 million in silver and gold, equivalent to over half a trillion dollars today. But relatively few people profited. And what usually happens is, the original prospectors, some of them do strike it rich, most do not, and most eventually end up uh, moving from independent prospectors to wage workers working for large, heavily capitalized corporations. Panners quickly exhausted the supply of surface gold and silver. The initial guys can find the pieces of gold in the riverbeds. The rest of it's hundreds, thousands of feet down below. You need heavy machinery and a complex uh, organization to, to extract it. Like everything else in the 19th century, mining becomes a heavily industrialized enterprise. By the late 1880s, mining operations backed by wealthy investors had taken over the industry, and once independent miners had to take jobs as wage laborers. But even though the dream of striking it rich didn't come true for most people, the population shift became a permanent one. They get to California and they realize it may not be the place where they make their fortune in gold mining, but it might be the place where they make their fortune um, as farmers. 